third doozy coming up. All right, let's get to it. Oh, should be a fun Marf Ditto right here. Ty versus Woogity Woo. If they actually do Marf Ditto's, I'm going to be pretty happy. No, of course they're going to do Marf Ditto's. Yeah. These are two Marf mains. Well, they Jay live by the sword, they die by the sword. <laughs> Jay Woo, I think we saw his Fox a couple weeks ago. Uh, so I wouldn't know that if he if he managed wanted to just try something out, but his Marth is what I know him for. Let's go to FD so we can have the harder punishes on each other. They agree to down tilt exchanged. There's uh, a couple of essential elements to this uh, matchup. Down tilt to condition for the dash dance. Uh, grab, uh, grab forward smash and fair. Those are the essential parts of it. And you use those four tools kind of interchangeably to beat each other, right? Yeah, there's a lot of footsies in this matchup. And a lot of smart options like crouch canceling the right moves, wave dash back to avoid ends. This is a very movement heavy matchup. Yeah, it's fun to watch. Because you also when you think about Marth and you think about dash dancing, some in some regard you think about um, Dashing forward as an, an, an act of aggression, right? Right. And dash back as a way of being... Uh, as a passive. sign of defense. Yeah, exactly. And when you add in uh, those elements, you're thinking about threat zones shifting and changing. Uh, so you have to constantly keep that in mind uh, when it comes to this mark there. The, but other things, the tools that are really important are, are the interruptible suit as frames on the down tilt. You can still be offensive and still be aggressive and then immediately dash away and maintain some safe pressure. Yeah, Marth doesn't really have to commit to much unless he's trying to do something silly like dash attack. Or, yeah. I mean, Forward Smash is a pretty big commitment. Okay. <laughs> let's let's start with a silly edge guard trade. And you saw Ty just kind of Oh, the footsies are real right now. Mm. Down tilt, re-grab. Oh, doesn't go for the re-grab again. No, he... Uh, J.W. escapes from the corner. This is so crazy. Ooh, wow. Wave dash through. That was nice. A high up, he caught him off guard. Wow, nice grab from Woogity Woo. Down tilt again? Yeah, there it Woogity is. Woogity Woo's got the corner. Misses the edge guard, though. So, when it comes to holding the edge, oh, wow, that was pixel perfect. The forward smash doesn't, just barely grazes him. Doesn't actually hit him, though. Yeah. Fair to dunk. Ooh, Thank you. Yep. Classic king combo. Yes. So, the, the thing to keep in mind is that when it, it, it's also a big battle of stage control. When you lose all this ground to work with, you lose the ability to dash dance while you're in the corner. And you, you generally saw more of a tendency to want to jump if you're a newer player. Yeah, you want to jump away, and jumping in this matchup is not the thing to do. The Marf in the air is the Marf that's getting comboed. Mm -hmm. Right. Hold Justin ledge. needs to find the edge guard here. Nice. Ooh, good tech. Oh, great option. So you saw that immediately after he teched, um, you back get air. back here. Yeah. You have to do that or you die. <laughs> exactly. Marf uh, on that wall jump tech. He just flies away, and you, you have to kill the momentum away, or you can't up beat a ledge. Or I think you can do instant up B back, but it's not as well spaced as doing the back air. Yeah. Good We're exchanging board. edge guard attempts. Oh, oh. Justin had to save him there to recover. Oh, nice spacing on that one. A little pivot, empty <laughs> down tilt, forward air trade. Down tilt, trade. Oh, barely misses ledge. Good down throw. Holds ledge. All right. These Mars are tussling on the ledge, and then we're back to center stage again. Okay, he did a great job recognizing the roll there. Yeah, down smash being the fastest smash option. Popping him up was a pretty good option right there. Hold that. Ooh, Ooh good. good. Nice nair from ledge. It's a great option if you get a uh, cut across them. The knockback comes off the second hit, so if you if you do nair on, on that side, you've got to make sure that you get across quickly. Hold ledge. No. Nair, nair from again. ledge See, again. That's what wow. I was talking about. Catch him with the reverse nair. You can get the first hit as long as you have the reverse part of the second in the nair. So that's a good finish. The edge guards were a little sloppy at first, but it looked like yeah. they both started to tighten up around the end of the game. All right, running it back to FD. Excellent. So, yep. Yeah. So when it comes to the down throw, a lot of Mars will do down throw and they'll do uh, down tilt immediately and then pivot, and anticipating a roll back towards the stage and then go for the re-grab. Uh, it's, a, it's a quick way to try to do some option coverage, um, but once you start to see that people are getting conditioned that they don't seem to roll as much, then you can start to just wait and see what, what's going to come back. But 
for people that tend to roll towards center stage quite a bit, you can see them getting trained by techniques like that. Whoa, that wave dash ward smash. Sick. Ooh, there's. The reason that works is because he was so close to the middle of the Nair. So the distance that he had to get pushed forward uh, was close enough for him to, to continue to move forward and then go for another Nair and chain it together. Oh. These Mars are dying real quick at ledge. Hopefully... He tri oh, okay. So he wave dash off the side, anticipating invulnerability would end, and I think he wanted to do fair. Or something. I don't know. He does a kind of some kooky edge guards. Things that I just generally don't see. Nice. Anticipating the rollback. Mm, he wanted to go for the re grab. Yeah, he should have shielded. Excellent. Four throwing got four throwing. No. Good tech. He got the sweet spot this time. He anticipated wave dash ward smash, I think. That's yeah. I went for the counter. Wow, nice tip. Catching him out of the air. That was a good anti air. Yeah. Snap ledge. All right, good. When you're moving this much and you find yourself crossing up each other, because you you play uh, Marth every once in a while, once in a blue moon as a secondary from time to time, right? Yep. When you play this ditto and you see each other moving back and forth, crossing each other up and whatnot, do you ever get this feeling where it's like I should I should be doing something, anticipating cross ups and just wave dash back down tilt or wave dash back grab or ideas like that, or are you just simply thinking, oh, oh wow. wow, finding the deep down air in the end? What a sick edge guard! Yeah, oh, that's that's one for the gifts. I appreciate that. Ty taking it 2-0, Marf didoing his way up the bracket. Clean edge guards after a little bumpy start, but you know we got there. Yeah.